fans like Ibermedia, we need publicity like sometimes TVs, and uh, we need co production in between several countries in order to bring money from everywhere <laughs> and try to finish a film like that, which always is a different view, a different way of seeing the world. Uh, the Ring is a film done uh, three years ago. Uh, as the title explains, it's like an onion, you know, it's full of layers. You are going to see that during the, the uh, following of the Aero, during uh, this one and a half hour. And uh, it, for me, it was an uh, interesting experience because when I meet the director, we immediately uh, uh, found that uh, we, we, we had something in common. And both of us, uh, we work in, on advertising in order, in order to get money for making films. So that's why. You know, we start to, to, this, to do this process. You will see that there is a little criticism in the film regarding advertising, and he knows well what he is telling about. But more than that, uh, the interesting thing in this film is that this character, this anti-hero, would say, that is uh, isolating himself of the rest of the surroundings and the life that uh, happens in, the, uh, in his life. You know, maybe you will think he's, he's a nut. It's, he has little things like a nut. But anyway, we are not going to explain more about the film. But I, I would like to take advantage that Gustavo Casanavi, which is the musician of the film, is living in New York and is here just to introduce as well himself and, and so on. Gustavo, please. for coming tonight. It's really a pleasure to have a full house. Actually, I didn't even know that it was showing. I got an email yesterday from the director. He told me they are showing the movie at MoMA. Go and meet this guy. Like he's a very sweet guy. That's what he said. <laughs> anyway, uh, the film you're about to see, it's, I don't know, you have to see it. But what I can talk about the music, when I was composing the music for the movie, I really had to First of all, try to get into the director's mind. It was not something that he was showing, you know, they were shooting the movie and I just saw the movie like first in pieces and it was hard like to get the whole concept. And I really had to see it like many times and like talk with the director and to see what was the intention, what did he want exactly to, to say with the music. So we have one more guest here. Actually, the violin player from the movie is here. Nicholas Danielson is right there. Right there. Thank you very much.